imagine that you're a public relations executive and your client says that he or she has something to unveil that is going to be truly new, truly revolutionary, truly life-changing for a great many people. And so you're going to be in charge of this PR campaign. Well, what do you do? Maybe you start thinking about how the Super Bowl handles publicity and the spectacle of it all. Maybe you think about an Apple or Google product reveal event. Or maybe you even think about Toyotathon. You figure that you're going to need to pick a truly awesome venue for this unveiling. Uh, you're going to need a spokesperson that's perky and memorable. And, you know, you're going to want to get the most possible eyeballs on this event so that you make a really big splash in public perception instantly. Contrast all that with how God chose to handle the unveiling of his son, which we remember and celebrate this time of year. God picked, pardon my word choice here, but literally a crappy venue. And yeah, there was a star in the sky that was a bit intriguing, but apparently only a handful of folks took much notice of that. The target audience, such as it was, seemed to have been limited to shepherds, a small group of them, and they were toward the bottom of the socioeconomic ladder, to be sure. God's ways are oftentimes not our ways. All of this fits into what some theologians have called God's upside-down kingdom, or the lowly way, the small way, the humble path. It's all very wondrous and very mysterious, just how all this fits into God's will. I hope and pray that your hearts and your minds are filled with that wonder and that mystery this Christmas time.